Hey guys, Teaching May here. I'm actually recording the video this time. I just got halfway through it and my camera cut off and I realized I wasn't recording at all. <laughs> um, I'm here with my May Stitch from Stash budget um, haul. That makes no sense, I guess, because I shouldn't have a haul when I'm on a budget. But these are the things I bought this month and the things that kind of gets my budget. How about that? <laughs> um, not a lot of interesting stuff just a few little things here and there some of it probably doesn't technically count against my budget but i'm counting against my budget because it's stuff that i've stockpiled and stuff that i won't use immediately so i'm going to count against myself just to kind of make it stricter on myself but i'll start with these whole scalers um actually one doesn't count against me it uh, is a gift for a friend so um but i'll show i just wanted to show them to you um this is a ruler a stitch ruler that counts your holes on your cross stitch fabric this is the whole scalar two not the one apparently there's a one but this is when it's different it's got 11 count 14 count 18 count and 22 count fabric markers on it and all you do is i'll show you the 11 count so it'll be bigger you hold it up against your fabric and then it marks your 1 10 20 i mean it marks all your stitches that way you don't have to count as much um, I will probably use this when I grid my fabric to make it easier. I will probably still recount just because I'm OCD like that. <laughs> but I figured it would be a lot easier to use this than counting and counting and counting. Or I can count them myself and then measure it with this and make sure it's right. Either way, I think this will help my gridding process be a lot quicker. These were only $0.89 cents at 123stitch.com. And even both of them together was going to have $1.99 shipping and handling because of where I live. So I was like, I can't justify spending, you know, not even $2 and having $2 worth of um, shipping. So <laughs> this pattern fell into my chart because, you know, you always justify your stash purchases, right? But this is one that I've had on my wish list for a couple of weeks. Or I'm sorry, not a couple of weeks, a couple of months. It's called Happy Camper. And the chart is put out by Imaginating Ink. Um, I don't know if this is the chart number. I don't think it is. I think that's when the company was founded. But um, I know that it's called Happy Camper. And it is designed by Diane Arthurs. And um, it will be the next one. I know that I said that when I finished my next whip, whichever one it was, that Starry Night would go in in its place. But now I'm going to be starting this one. It's for my in-laws. They just purchased a new camper. And they've had several. This isn't their first camper. But still, they just they are really in love with this camper. And I really like this. I, I thought I would make this for them for their camper. So it is a gift. But I'm not going to be stitching on it immediately. So it goes into the stash category. Because it will be put away. But just hopefully this will this start. Because I'm already having such a hard time not starting it. Will help spur me to, you know, to... Quick, quicken on some of my whips to where I can add this in. I, mean, I don't know that this would take very, very long because like a lot of this is all the same colors or the same three colors and there's a bunch of little bitty things. But who knows, it's me. It can take me two years. Who knows? <laughs> but that's that. I would open it and show you the pattern, but of course I don't want to, you know, invade copyright by doing that. But the pattern's easy to read and um, I don't think it'll take that long to stitch. But there that is. And then I have another pattern. This one was actually a custom pattern. It's by somebody that I've met on the forum. It's the same lady that made my verse for my coworker pattern. Doesn't show up very well here. It's a butterfly and lady bird pattern. I like that she put lady bird by mistake, but that's fine. Um, this is actually, I think, let me see. I think I got a picture of it on my tablet that I can show you. I don't know if it will if it'll pull up on the camera though or not. I do, hang on. Um, this is the, the original picture, whoops, that's upside down, the original picture. Um, it actually is a gamer picture from Xbox, and I looked up the, I googled and googled and found the picture online, and it has a Creative Commons license, which means that you are able to recreate it as long as you give credit back to Xbox, and, um, I, and, I, and the, the way I did this is I sent her the actual website so she was able to download it and recreate it herself rather than me sending it to her and then her. Anyway, we had to go dance around with copyright, but we did not infringe any copyright that we know of because it is under a Creative Commons license and it said that you are free to distribute it and recreate it as you wish. So, 
you just have to, you know, you can't claim it as your own. And it's not mine. I think it was made by a guy named Major Nelson is the guy that made it. But if you Google Xbox One Gamer Picks, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But, um, and I'm not going to get, I'm hiding her information on the pattern because I don't know that she wants everybody on YouTube to have her um, address. I'm sure she doesn't mind getting business if some of you want her to make a custom chart. Um, if you want to PM me, I will send, double check with her and send her information along to you. I know she is on Facebook. I can, um, if you PM me, I can share the contact or whatever on Facebook, or I can PM you back her email address. I think it's, she's got a business email address that she does these through. But, um, this chart, this custom chart was only $4 Great Britain pounds. And like I said, I'm not charging, she's not charging for the picture. She's charging for the labor of making the picture. So, I don't know if she's got some that's in her stash or ones that she's actually customized herself. She may charge more. And that kind of thing. Or she may charge more if it's when it was kind of iffy with the creative, creative Commons license, you know, because she couldn't charge for the work itself. She could only charge for the labor of it. But if I remember correctly, I think that's all she charged before for my verse. And she made that one up herself. So I just told her kind of the quote. So, but I will, you know, share her information. Just send me a PM. I don't want to put it out just for everybody to have. So. And the last couple things aren't really that exciting. Um, these are the things that probably don't count against the budget, but I'm going to count them anyway because I'm being stricter on myself. Um, I normally pay like $3 for these at Walmart. I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, here in Georgia, we have several dollar stores. We have like the Dollar General, the Family Dollar, and then the Dollar Tree. Um, Family Dollar and Dollar General are not only dollars. The Dollar Tree, everything in the store is a dollar. No matter what it's marked on there, it's a dollar. There are books in there that have been, like, I guess not sold by other places, and they're a dollar, even if they say $20 on them. But, um, I got these there. Um, just some extra to hold my fabric on my Q-snap with. I had told somebody that I got these at Walmart, but now I get them at the dollar store. I found them. I was really excited. And then these pens are my absolute favorite for marking my charts. Normally, I use gel pens, but, um... These are great. They've got a 0 0.7 tip. It's loud. They are actually not gel pens. They are rollerball pens. They've got a liquid ink that you probably can't see in the video. But there's the tip. Um, I don't feel like I'm wasting tons of ink when I color like I do with a finer tip. But um, the only place I've been able to find these are at the Dollar Tree. And usually they only have black. So when I saw that they had some of the colors, it's hit or miss with the colors. I went ahead and grabbed some. So that's why they're going to be kind of stashed because I have four of them already and don't really need them yet. But I know that eventually the ink will run out. So I went ahead and got them just to save for whenever I do need extra ink um, or extra pens. But um, I really, really like these pens. I think the Dollar General has them, but they have like a multi pack, like six of them or something. I'm not 100% sure. The only, like I said, when I look at them online, it always takes me back to the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree. And these I actually found in the Dollar Tree. Um, they do have two packs of black, if you prefer black. But this has got an orange and a turquoise, and that is like my favorite color, turquoise. And that's not like a blue color. It's like a true turquoise color. And then pink and purple. And they also have this green. My sister gave me this green. I think she got it in one of the Dollar General packs of several instead of just a two-pack. I didn't see this green in a two-pack yesterday. But that's really everything in my haul. I think this month I spent $16.10. And I'm not going to spend any more by the tw 28th. I'm telling myself that. I'm sticking to that. Because I came very close last month. And now I'm coming really close this month on my budget. So, um... But that's really everything. Um, hope you enjoyed. Sorry, it's not that great, not that interesting, but I needed to do the video for the um, Stitch from Stash, you know, um, vlog thing. So thanks for watching. Happy stitching.